All right, everybody, The Joker with a Queen Phoenix in it. All right, so a standalone Joker film. I'm excited. This is the one you guys suggested. I put it on my community tab poll. You guys voted. This is the one you wanted, so we're checking it out. <sighs> the smile is way more creepy, isn't it? Oh, look, he's forcing it so hard. His tears are coming out. Is that what he's doing, or is it just that he's sad? No, it's probably an actual single tear. I hope we can really get inside the head of the Joker in this one, like, to see how much of a psychotic character he is. Because that's what makes the Joker the Joker. Like, he has no powers or anything. He's the definition of chaos and insanity. And I hope that we get that in this film. Was that him dancing in the street? Whoa, come on. For freak's sakes, he's just trying to do his job. Punks. Friggin' punks. Whoa. I guess if he loses the sign, he'll be in trouble. Is that the problem here? Oh, what the frig? Oh. God, it seems like the guy got enough issues. You don't need to be taking on this. Earn a living. I guess the tar beat out of him. I love the clown outfit, too. It's like a makeshift clown outfit. He's friggin' cracking up. I'm feeling it so far. He's definitely a broken man. <laughs> what, did he get fired from his job or something? Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? People are upset. <sighs> she just had to watch him freak out like work. that. Have you been keeping up with your journal? Can I see it? Look at him. He's nervous about the journal, shaking his legs like that. But also as a joke diary, no. funny thoughts, or pursuing a career in stand-up comedy. Oh, wow. Stand-up comics. Well, most stand-up comics are people with a lot of issues, you know, troubled past or troubled upbringing. I just hope. I my just death hope my death makes more sense than my life. Department of Health social How does it feel worker. To oh, it's a social here. worker. I think I felt better when I was locked up in the hospital. Why you were locked up? Ooh. I was wondering if you could ask the doctor to increase my medication. Arthur, you're on seven different medications. Oh, okay. Surely I just don't want to feel so bad anymore. He's in that state while on seven different types of medication. I guess it's keeping him calm and relaxed, maybe, or I don't know. Mixing too many chemicals in his brain, if you ask me. Can you please stop bothering my kid? He's not bothering. Your kid is the one turning around. <laughs> what, you think that's funny? <laughs> oh, he's saying no, but yet he's cracking up. You have my laughter, I have a condition. Oh my god, he's got a mental condition. I like this. I like the fact that the Joker has a mental condition that makes him just burst into random spontaneous laughter. It's kind of a cool take. I never thought of it like that. Maybe that's something that he has. So this must be like a, an origin story. I like the dreary music and like the rundown city and just how depressive life is for him you know what i mean he's not seeing any of the good we're only seeing everything is just dreary and no oh, i'd like to see what his apartment looks like it's gonna be interesting Abby, did you check the mail before you came up yeah mom oh okay he's living with his mom must not be getting my letters it's thomas wayne mom he's a busy man he's the only one who could save the city he owes it to us look he seems pretty normal around his mom here he's smiling Man, this reminds me. As a kid, that's what I used to do every night is stay up and watch those late shows. So you watch Conan and Letterman. Okay. Oh, look who it is. Oh, he's in the audience now? Oh, he's pretending. Maybe he's in its head. He's pretending he's in the audience. I don't know. Super rats that are in Gotham now, right? The mayor said he has a solution. Right? Super cats. <laughs> Oh, his laugh is going to stand out a lot. Is this actually happening or is he dreaming it? That's what I'm wondering. I feel like this is not real. Where are you from? <laughs> I live right here in the city with my mother. <laughs> oh, everybody laughing at him because he's living at home. I've been the man in the house for as long as I can remember. I take good care of my mother. Yeah, there you go. Everybody's first instinct is just to laugh at him, right? Come on down. Come on. What? Invite him down. This has got to be a joke. <laughs> I'll tell you what you have to say. Maybe oh. my day. Wow. Thanks, Murray. Wow. Look, he just wants to be loved. 
He's got no father figure. Yeah, oh, there we go. We're back on the bed. He just went to his happy place. That's what it was. Whoa. Look at the bruises from getting beat up on the street. I heard about the beatdown you took. It was yeah. just a bunch of kids. I should have left it alone. They're animals. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy's showing him some kindness, at least. <laughs> you gotta protect yourself out there. Oh. What? I was expected to be like a clown makeup or a clown nose or something. You can pay me back some other time. You know you're my boy. Whoa. Something going on there. You people call it miniature golf, or is it just golf to you? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, his laugh. My god, I love his laugh. Look at him. And it just stops. He goes from his mad cackle to just shut off. Another complaint. Oh no. It's starting to piss me off. Kenny's music. Oh, come because on now. I got jumped. Yeah, it's not his Didn't fault. You hear? Just give him a sign back. Why would I keep his sign? Yeah, why would How he? How the fuck do I know? Why does anybody do anything? I gotta take it out of your paycheck. Look at him. He looks psychotic. Oh my god. Is he gonna murder him or what? Oh, okay. He leads a dark existence, doesn't he? Now, so he got fired from his job. He's gonna need that money to pay for his meds, isn't he? Unless his mom pays for it for him, I don't know. Wait. Oh. This building is so awful, isn't it? Right, mommy? <laughs> that's a joker thing to do, isn't it? I guess he sees he's not the only one that's uh, filled with a lot of depression by the looks of things. Hey. Kind of weird and creepy. I can see how in his crazy mind he thought that would be funny. But it came across a little weird. What do you think he's going to do? He's going to help us. That's twice now she mentioned letters. Because Thomas Wayne is a good man. I don't want you worrying about money, Mom. Everybody's telling me that my stand-up's ready for the big clubs. Don't you have to be funny to be a comedian? Oh, no. Even his own mom, who he... Or seems to idolize or worship there is uh, saying he's not funny. So she was sending letters off to Thomas Wayne, eh? Hmm. Interesting detail there, I bet. Oh my god, that's the gun that Buddy gave him. Dude, just pointing a gun around his apartment. What's he thinking about now? Doing some crime or what? Oh my god, did he lose weight for this role or anything? You're a really good dancer. <laughs> I know. Him. Oh my god! You can think that the happiest. I'm watching an old war movie! He's in an apartment building, he just pulled up, shot the friggin' wall! He was in a delusion in his happy place, like dancing and friggin'. He's gonna do something crazy. I can tell you right now, he's just. Oh my god, now he's getting obsessed with her, is he? This is scary, boss. This is friggin' scary. That's the crazy thing about this world, you know? You see somebody in a elevator, you just say, hey, good day, and that's it. That's all it could take for them to become obsessed with you. Well, for this, it was more of the, like, the little to the head thing. He found out, found out a little bit funny, so now he's just like, hey, we got a connection or something, and going through his head. Loving it. Ooh, he was going to follow, and he didn't. <laughs> he's not laughing when he's supposed to laugh. Eye contact. Sexy jokes, always funny. Okay, he's studying the stand-up comic game. All right, well, he's doing the right thing. He's showing up. He's taking notes and everything. Now his off-time laughter is not good for an audience member because he just throws off the whole timing. But, yeah. Hey. Hey. Are you following me today? Yeah. Uh oh she's here. I was hoping you'd come in and rob the place. I have a gun. I'll come by tomorrow. What the frig is this? So funny, aren't they? You know, I... I do stand-up comedy. Maybe come see a show sometime. Oh my god. I could do that. Okay, hello. Hello, Arthur. Wow, he's got a date? It's working. Oh. What the frig are you doing? No. I love this job. He finally had a job he was doing good. brought a gun. Besides, Randall told me you tried to buy a 38 off him last week. Oh my god, he lost his job with the clown contract now because he brought a freaking gun into a children's hospital. Come I mean, 
kind of a dumb move. His brain don't seem to be working properly. Ooh, would you sit next to somebody? She was on a train looking like that? Comment below and let me know if you've seen that person sitting on the subway or the train. Would you sit next to him? French fries. Hello. <laughs> he seems like he's very drunk. Oh, come on. Don't throw a friggin' fry at her. <laughs> Is something funny, asshole? Ooh. Send in the clouds. Why do I think something crazy is going to happen here? They're going to make him snap or something, are they? Oh my god, what are they Every day for this guy. Every day for Arthur is a friggin' struggle. It's like the world's out to get him. Oh! No! <laughs> well, you know what? You can get away with that in the certain parts of the world. You know, self-defense. You had three people beating on him. Oh, oh, what is he doing? He's making a run for it. At this point, it's not self-defense. Ooh. He's getting revenge on people. He's taking his rage out on these people. This is it. This is the turning point in his life, isn't it? It was all building up to this point, and this is where he's breaking. There's no going back after this. See him running down the road. It's a clown running down the road like that. Ooh, jeez. What's he doing? That dance that he was doing in the living room. He is too. I'm loving this movie. Trying to get inside the head of like a psychotic kind of character like this is just friggin' amazing. After doing that, after killing, shooting three people in the subway, then he just comes in here and just is finding his happy place again. Oh, and now he's looking in the mirror at the new him. This is the new me now, world accept it. Yeah, this is... Okay. That relationship is moving fast. What the freak? What happened? Sorry, mate. Doesn't seem fair. Get fired like that? Why don't you ask Randall about it? It was his gun. Stop well, talking out of your ass, Art. <laughs> oh, well, he planted that seed and left. Oh, no. I forgot to punch out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. I like it. That was good. Oh, don't forget to smile, everybody. Don't smile. What a grand exit from his job. That's how you quit a job, everybody. Oh, he's running out of meds. Like I said, what happens if you can't afford them? It's almost as if our less fortunate residents are taking the side of the killer. Yeah. What about the eyewitness report of the suspect being a man in a clown mask? Those of us who have made something of our lives will always look at those who haven't. It's nothing but clowns. The people of Gotham are taking the side of the killer? Until a while ago, it was like nobody ever saw me. Even I didn't know if I really existed. Oh, wow. That's a dark thing to say. I don't what? listen to you. Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. Uh-oh, he's calling her out now. I didn't know if I even really existed, but I do. And people are starting to notice. They've cut our funding. So he's running out of meds, and he no longer has a social worker. He's going to do some more stand-up? Oh my god, why do I think he's going to be crazy this time around? Well, actually, this is his first time doing it, right? Not this time around, because last time he was sitting in the crowd. This time he's going to take the stage. Woo! Right, that's my... Please help me welcome oh, Arthur wow. Fleck, y'all! Arthur, Arthur Fleck! Fleck. <laughs> what was he freezing up? Hello, it's good to be here. <laughs> oh no. Is he going to get through any of his jokes? Can we pull together? <laughs> He trying to choke himself to get himself to stop laughing. I hated school as a kid. <laughs> How crazy is this to watch? Can you imagine being in that audience? My mother would say, one day you'll have to work for a living. No, I won't, Ma. I'm gonna be a comedian. <laughs> She's there watching it? Okay. Why are the rich people so... Is this really happening? You never know with him because he's so crazy. So it actually went well? He recovered from that awful, creepy opening? You believe that shit? 
I think the guy that did it is a hero. She's like a perfect match for him. It's like he's getting his life together. His comedy worked out. He's got a nice girl here and he's getting along with him. I've been there many times, falling asleep, watching late night shows. <laughs> he's in such a good mood because his life is going so great. but I need your help. Your your son and I need you. Your son? What? Oh my God. So she used to work for Thomas Wayne and had an affair with him and had a son and a son is Arthur. Plot thickens, everybody. Give me up. I'm not angry, Mom. Is this real? We were in love. He said it was best that we not be together because of appearances. I signed some papers. What they'd say about you. Holy crap. What would they say, Mom? I'm liking this angle. That's not an actual angle in the comic books, right? Is it? I don't know a whole lot about Batman and everything, so... Again, I'm a Marvel fanboy, but... I'm opening up to all this DC content. Now that I did the um, Dark Knight trilogy, and I did the Batman that came out, that was friggin' awesome. Is he gonna try to meet uh, Thomas Wayne, have a conversation with his dad? Is it his real dad? I guess we'll find out. Is the kid uh, Bruce? That would be amazing if it is. <laughs> He's so in character, I love it. What's your name? I'm Bruce. Yup, there you go. What is he doing? What the frick? Oh my. And Bruce is just staying there taking it? Get away from that man. It's Whoa. okay, Whoa. I'm a good guy. What are you doing, who are you? I'm here to see Mr. Wayne. My mother's name is Penny. Penny Fleck. You're her son. Yeah. Uh-oh. He knows about it. Look, he knows about the affair. I know about the two of them. There is no them. Ooh, okay. Well, it was delusional. Oh, crap. She was a sick woman. Thomas Wayne is my father. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Sick of the joke. Holy crap, which side is telling the truth now? He might just be saying... Oh, this is all, she's all delusional because they're playing it off like this was a delusional former co-worker. None of it is true. Which may be the truth, or maybe it actually did happen, or maybe it didn't. Oh, no. Oh, great. What happened? Holy crap, if he loses his mom, he's gonna... How many breaking points can one person have? He was, his life was just starting to get good. He was with that girl. His stand-up comedy went pretty good. You know, if that was all real. But I'm assuming it was, because they didn't show anything to show that it wasn't real. We had a few questions for you, but you weren't home. We spoke with your mother. What did you say to her? Did yeah. you do this? What? Yeah, yeah the well. doctor said she had a stroke. Oh, they brought on a stroke by interrogating her. They're about the subway killings that happened last week. You've heard about them, right? Oh, you said crap. you were fired for bringing a gun into the children's hospital. Is that true, Mr. It was Flair? a prop. This condition of yours, the laughing. Real? Some sort of clown thing. What do you think? Oh! oh. <laughs> well, now the police are on to him. Oh, she came to the hospital with him. At least he's got her in his life. But man, the police came over, asked a bunch of questions. Probably made it seem like her son did it. She got hysterical, had a stroke. So now he's gonna hate the police even more, isn't he? I got a coffee. You won't. Yeah. Check out this joke. <laughs> I'm gonna be a comedian. <laughs> he's loving it because he's on prime time. <laughs> you should have listened to your mother. <laughs> and told people I was gonna be a comedian. Everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. His idol on TV is tearing him down. Oh, he's going to snap even more! Well, so many things compiling on top of each other to make him become the Joker. Thomas Wayne! That's what this whole thing is about! This whole system! Oh, look at that. Thomas Wayne, who first referred to many of Gotham's residents as clowns. The fact that he says he refers to them as clowns, he's going to say, I'll show you clowns now, look. And he's already got all these people out there saying, Look, we are all clowns. Kill the rich. Oh, he's using the distraction to get in. And look at him, he's top as a bellboy. 
bellhop or whatever it's called. Oh, he's got eyes on Wayne. Is he going in to talk to him or is he going in to kill him? Oh, Wayne's on the move and so is he now. Approaching him at the urinal though, but hey, what, what other choices do you have? Do you want an autograph or something? My name is Arthur. Hey. Penny Fleck is my mother. You're the guy that came to my house yesterday. Well, my mother told me everything and I had to talk to you. Look, pal, You're... I'm not your father. I think you are. Well, that's impossible because you were adopted and I never slept with your mother. Well, what do you want money? from me, money? What? Why are you saying that? That she was arrested and committed to Arkham State Hospital. Well, I don't want anything from you. Maybe a little bit of warmth, maybe a hug, Dad. How She's crazy. <laughs> you think this is funny? <laughs> Everybody keeps saying that to me. Dad, him. it's me. Ooh. Touch my son again, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> I love that he got his nose broken. He's still laughing. And Murray asked if I would reach out to you to see if you would come on as his guest. Really? You know why he's having him on there, just so he can make fun of him in person. Yeah, that sounds great. Why else would he do it? What did he say next Thursday now he's going to be going on that late night show? The same one that just publicly mocked him in front of the whole world. And everyone loved how crazy he was in his act. And now they're going to have him on the show live. Nothing good can come from this. Nothing good. Oh, they said that his mother went here, didn't they? So he's probably hey. going to try to get some answers. How does someone wind up in here? Some are just crazy, pose dangers to themselves and others. Last time I ended up taking it out on some people. Yeah. I thought it was going to bother me, but it really has. <laughs> All right, here it is. Click. Penny Fleck, delusional psychosis Ooh, and narcissistic does. personality disorder. I was found guilty of endangering the welfare of her own child. Holy crap. So according to the paperwork, she was crazy. You said she's your mom. I'm sorry, man. Like I said, I can't release these records. No, what was it? Look, if you want to bring your mom in here to sign, that'll be much easier. She's friggin' dying. You can't. Ooh. Did he get it? Hey! He got it? Oh, <laughs> good. I want some answers. Run. Run, Arthur. Extremely bizarre behavior. Adoption application. One of your boyfriends repeatedly abused your adopted son. Holy crap. Is this what actually happened? I never... A mother of adopted child allows her son to abuse... <laughs> Now all of his love for his mother, everything's falling apart because she was lying to him and she let him be abused and everything. Your son was found tied to a radiator, malnourished with multiple bruises across his body and severe trauma to his head. He's always been such a happy little boy. At first I was like, okay, is this all something that Thomas Wayne did and he has enough pool with the people at the Arkham Hospital to create a fake story and everything just to cover his own ass? But now, I don't know, I'm thinking that might be the actual case. This may be the actual thing. But now that he's finding it all out, he's going nuts. Look at him. Ooh, he's going to a dark place. No. It's not his apartment. He's going in her apartment. But they got a good relationship, right? So what's going on? Why is he going in so friggin' creepy? Man, if you came in and seen somebody in your apartment doing that, Feeling every texture of everything in your house. You'd be like, oh my god. I guess they're gonna have a conversation about this. Oh my god. What are you doing in here? You're in the wrong apartment. What? Your name's Arthur, right? You lived on the hall. What? So it was all in his head? Really? All those scenes and. The little girl sleeping in the other room. Oh, for lunch. Like spending time at the hospital, bedside with his mom, all of that? No, buddy, come on. She, look, it was all in his head the whole friggin' time. What did he do? Did he hurt him? Oh my god, 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 we're going in a dark path, everybody. Sitting there in his <laughs> underwear, cracking up laughing. They don't even show what happened. Did he just leave the apartment or did he hurt him? You know, he used to tell me that my laugh was a condition, that there was something wrong with me. There isn't. That's a real me. I haven't been happy one minute of my entire fucking life. That's dark. 
I used to think that my life was a tragedy. But now I realize no. it's a fucking comedy. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. He's broken. There's no coming back now. First he murders people in subways. Then he finds out he's been lied to. His whole existence is a lie. He gets made fun of on public TV. Loses his job. Ends up killing his own mother. Oh my god. But from his point of view, it's like the whole world is like against him. Like he doesn't want to be this. He wants to be a comic. He just wants to work a job, do whatever, try to make people laugh. It's like the world or society just won't allow him to do it. Oh, he's pretending. Look at him. He's got his whole routine figured out. He's seen enough episodes of the show. Thank you so much for having me on the show. It's been a lifelong dream of mine. Is it probably not going to work out the way that he's rehearsing? And what happens when he goes off script? Would you like to hear a joke? He's so delusional. I love it. Knock, knock. Oh, no. That's how he wants to go out. He wants to go on the show, do his whole thing, and then blow his own brains out on live TV. This is a dark movie, but I'm here for it. I'm enjoying it. Look at him, he's doing his happy place dance again. <laughs> and his tidy whities sagging down. Yes, we're getting the classic Joker look. Green hair with the face paint. I like it. Coming! Oh shit, what did he put there? A pair of scissors in his back pocket? Hey, Arthur. Uh oh. How's it going? Are they coming around because he's on the big time show now or what? with the makeup then. My mom died. Celebrating. Celebrating? That's that's why we came by. I figured uh, you could use some cheering up. <laughs> the cops have been coming around the shop. Now they're looking for me. And I just want to know what you said. Make sure our stories line up. Thank you so much. I just want to... Oh, 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 He's lost it. He's lost all control. Oh my god, the other guy should just run. Do you watch the Murray Franklin show? I'm gonna be on tonight. He can't hurt that guy. Come on. Like, that guy's been nothing but nice to him ever since the start. But it's the Joker, so you never know. It's okay, Gary. Yeah. You can go. Oh, good. Whew. Is he gonna let him go by or is he gonna get him? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. No, and he can't reach. Hey, Arthur. Gary? Oh no, he's closing the door again. You were the only one that was ever nice to me. There you go, that's what I was saying. Now, buddy Gary, now is Gary gonna go tell the police or what? Or is Gary gonna keep his mouth shut? I don't know. Woo! The green hair, the red suit, the makeup all done up. I love how he goes to a happy place and just starts dancing. Look at him. He's actually finally happy. This is what it took for him for the first time in his life to feel happiness. Is to become a total psychopath. <laughs> oh no, the Get police up. are right behind him. We need to talk. But they're gonna know that he's gonna he's booked for the late night show. They'll be able to find him there, won't they? Well it depends. If they got him on the murder in his apartment. Oh shit. Oh did he get his back broke? Running from the cops makes him look guilty. I don't think he cares at this point, though. The question is, are they still just asking questions about the subway murder? Or is it because they found bodies in his apartment because Gary called it in? Ooh, another clown. Lots of clowns in the city because of the protests. They gotta try to find them on a train full of clowns heading downtown for the protests. I like it. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. Whoa, who's that guy coming to the defensive of? Oh, they're gonna mob him now. Oh, they're beating the piss out of him. <laughs> and he just struts out. Look at him. <laughs> How great was that? That way that worked out. He's just walking away as the cops run by him. 
He doesn't look like anybody who's guilty, does he? Because he's like showing no signs of panic or anything. Not even looking at the cops as if they're not even there. Hey, 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 hey. Mr. Franklin, buddy. Come on, Gene. I feel like I know you. I've been watching you forever. I mean, are you part of the protest? No, I don't believe in any of that. I don't believe in anything. No cursing, no off-color material. We do a clean show. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? That's what you called me on the show. A Joker. Thanks, Murray. He's embraced the Joker. He doesn't want to use his real name anymore. A lot of problems. Let's show that clip one last time. They're showing the clip again. You backstage, you act like, hey, I'm, I'm your buddy. And here he is mocking him again. Look at him. He's doing his happy place swaying again. Please welcome Joker. He called him the Joker. Oh, look. All of his life watching this show, and now he's actually getting to do it. Maybe. Maybe this is all delusion again. <laughs> Well, that was quite an entrance. Is this how he imagined it would be? This is exactly how I imagined it. What did I just say? Because you could tell he was staring off into space, looking around like lost in the moment. I know you're a comedian. You've been working on any new material. You want to tell us a joke? Oh my God, this is the part he rehearsed on his couch. Got Got a book. (laughs) A book of jokes. I just hope my death makes more sense in my life. We've seen that at the beginning. Knock, knock. Oh my God. And you had to look that up? <laughs> Making fun of him again? Who's there? It's the police, ma'am. Your son's been hit by a drunk driver. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, that's not funny, Arthur. That's not the kind of humor we do on this show. Oh. It's been a rough few weeks, man. Oh, I'd <laughs> say it's been a rough few weeks. Killed those three Wall Street guys. Oh my God, he's admitting to it? On national okay, TV? I'm waiting for the punchline. There's no punchline. My life is nothing but a comedy. Well, let me get this straight. You think that killing those guys is funny? I do. All of you, you decide what's right or wrong the same way that you decide what's funny. Did this to start a movement to become a, a symbol? Everybody is awful these days. It's enough to make anyone crazy. <laughs> He's got some truth there. If it was me dying on the sidewalk, you'd walk right over me. I pass you every day and you don't notice me. You think men like Thomas Wayne ever think what it's like to be someone like me? I mean, it's so much self-pity, Arthur. And I'll tell you this, not everyone is awful. You're awful. Murray was pretty awful. Oh, crazy. Just wanted to make fun of me. Just like the rest of them. Someone was killed today because of what you did. Look at him, he's totally nuts. When you cross I think a mentally ill loner with a it. society that abandons him and beats him like trash! Woo! Get what you fucking deserve! Oh! <laughs> oh! He just, just rocks back and forth in his chair with a big grin on his face. Oh! Oh! That was so quick! He doesn't give two shits anymore. I always remember. That's Okay, technical difficulties. Cut him off. He's under arrest. They arrested him? So he didn't kill himself at all? He took it out on Murray? Gotham is burning. He did arrest him. He didn't try to run or anything. He just... I guess he doesn't care. He's smiling. Oh, the riots are still going on. He started a big movement, didn't he? Look at the anarchy and chaos that he caused. Isn't it beautiful? No, he relishes in the chaos. Oh, he got T-boned by an ambulance? Chances, oh my God. They must have took control of it. I wonder, did he plan this? Or is this just the protesters wanting to break him free? Comment below, let me know. Do you think that this was something that Arthur planned so that they would break him out? Or is this just something that the rioters took advantage of? And there's no Batman because we already seen that Bruce is just a little boy. Oh, look, speaking of Bruce. That's him going down in the alleyway and the criminals coming after him. So they're implying that the Wayans murders here were a result of the Joker. Woo! Woo! It wasn't 
the Joker who did it, but it was because of the Joker. They went after the rich and the powerful and the famous, and I like it. Cool angle. I mean, I like the I like the angle that they went with in the Dark Knight series as well, but this is still pretty freaking cool too, right? Then Batman can blame the Joker for the death of his parents because he's the one who started the riots. Look at him. He's up. Everybody's chanting for him. Is he doing it again? Oh, this happy place dance. Every moment where there's like a important change in the direction of his life, he like breaks into this little dance thing. <laughs> How crazy is that? He's got a whole city chanting his name. He's the symbol of anarchy and chaos. Okay, I thought it was over. It's not over. So did that even happen? That ending scene with the smash and him getting up dancing? What's so funny? Is that real? Or was that all a delusion again? <laughs> Just thinking of a joke. Comment down below and let me know if you think this all those events of him with the Joker scene from the late show on actually happened. Or was he in an institution the entire time? He's been in an institution the whole time, and this is just one big scenario he worked out in his head. Oh my god, I need to know. Oh, the bloody footprints. What did he do? Kill the psychiatrist? Just doing his dance again. What a story that was. Woo! All right, before you go and watch one of these reactions, I just want to show you a fun trio of miniature comic-related tiny books that I just picked up. It's packed with 192 pages of comic book covers, colored comic panels, and famous quotes from the character's history. These make for great collectibles, stocking stuffers, or small things to attach to a gift for that extra little kick. If you're interested in getting some for yourself, I'll have the links in the description.